we were hoping to provide sort of a new record from this area. There are certainly other ice core records from all around the world, but none from Denali National Park or the Central Alaska Range. It's a really challenging, but a really beautiful place to get to work. During the actual recovery of the ice core, the drill works in that it's basically just a hollow cylinder that goes down, collects a cylinder of ice about three feet long or so, and then comes and brings it up to the surface. We take that ice core, we measure it, we weigh it, we package it, and then we send the drill back down to get another core. And what we found in this particular study is that there is more melting of the snow and ice on the glacier at our field site than there has been in the last 400 years. We've been able to tell that the warming rate on Mount Hunter and in some of these mountain regions is tied not just to what's going on locally, but it's actually influenced by what's going on thousands of miles away. The largest reason why every regular citizen should care about this sort of thing is because our ability to predict any sort of upcoming changes is completely dependent upon our knowledge and understanding of these natural systems. So if we have any hope of being able to forecast how climate in specific areas is going to change in the future, then we really have to know how these systems respond to changes in climate that are happening now and have happened already.